My name is Marissa Silver. The title of this new novel is Mary Coyne. There's a famous photograph that was taken in the 1930s by Dorothea Lange called Migrant Mother, which is a photograph that's pretty iconic in the 20th century, um, a woman in the Depression surrounded by her children. And I had seen the photograph in my life over and over again, and I decided to take the story of that woman and fictionalize it, and fictionalize the moment of meeting the photographer and also the photographer's story. So it's really a story about two women who have a fortuitous meeting and what the, the ramifications of the legacy of that meeting is for both of them. Well, I did an enormous amount of research about a lot of things, not only the time period. I mean, the time period is, you know, it's a century in this book or over a century, so I had to go back to 1905 and in Hoboken, New Jersey, and also in eastern Oklahoma. I think a lot about what the lives of my characters would have been then. Mary Coyne, the title character, is the woman who is in the photograph. And she uh, grew up on a subsistence farm in eastern Oklahoma. And she is part Native American. And she came, uh, then traveled west with her husband um, to look for work, essentially, uh, in the late 20s. And came to California, where she then did a series of jobs, everything from working in law, logging mills to then becoming a migrant farmer, and traveled up and down the state of California, as so many people did during the 30s. Vera Dare, the photographer, um, is a woman very much modeled on the life of um, Dorothea Lang, and she grows up on the East Coast in New Jersey, and she suffered from childhood polio, um, which is a sort of... Uh, legacy that she brings into her adulthood. She travels across the country also um, in a different way and becomes a photographer in San Francisco in the early 20s, a sort of society photographer taking pictures of the wealthy. Um, and marries a man who's a, a painter, a Western painter, and has a fraught marriage with him. The third character is a guy named Walker Dodge. He is a professor of cultural history in California, in San Francisco, um, someone who is sort of obsessed by ephemera, obsessed by all the things that you find in garages and antique stores and newspaper morgues to try to find how those little pieces of history that you find, how they knit together and, and create a portrait of what life was like.